Hi, this is Dr. Craig Hillman and Dr. Nathan Blattel, and we're from DFR Solutions. We have developed a series of short videos designed to help you, our customers, learn how to use key features of the Sherlock Automated Design Analysis Software. Sherlock, as most of you already know, is a unique tool that is used by electronics engineers and designers across multiple industries to help them develop better, more reliable products. Like any good software tool, Sherlock has a lot of individual features. We today want to be able to show you, our customers, firsthand how to use some of the more popular and important features available within the tool, and just as importantly, how to avoid some common mistakes. Today, in this segment, we're going to teach you how to correctly define a board outline in Sherlock. Nathan, why is a board outline so important inside Sherlock? Well, the board outline is very important. It's used for multiple things inside Sherlock, and really it's for determining the effective board properties, um, so the amount of copper coverage you have, um, and this is very important for the mechanical simulation, so you know, how is the board going to respond uh, during the finite element analysis. And, and today, for our listeners, we actually have a real live uh, board inside Sherlock today, isn't that correct? That is correct. And uh, I think probably most importantly for them to be aware of, there's actually two ways you can bring in a board outline for Sherlock, right? Actually, it's really three, but the two key ones are you can bring in through as a Gerber or bring it in as an ODB. Yeah, so Sherlock will do multiple things in trying to determine what the board outline is for your particular design. So in the case of ODBs, the board outline is uh, likely already defined, but it may contain you know, router commands or other things that can cause some errors um, in the board outline. In the case of Gerber's, uh, Sherlock will make a guess on where the bounding rectangle is, and then you can also manually uh, develop a board outline if you want to. So, uh, so it's always really important to double check that board outline because the way we or Sherlock needs to use that board outline can be different than the way, uh, let's say, your manufacturer needs to know about that board outline. Correct. So most important question, where do I go to check my board outline? Well, in the example that you're seeing here on uh, Dr. Hellman's screen is he's, he's already imported an ODB ar uh, archive. And with that, though, there was a board outline already formed. So he's going to expand the menu tree or the project tree. When I go down here, this is my actual card, right, inside the project tree? Correct. Bring it up, and I can see we have, uh, let's close that out, we have uh, files, input, analysis, and results. So I guess it would be under files. Would that be correct? Because we're importing a file, an ODB file? Yeah, uh, you can get to the board outline from that uh, menu item. Oh, but you seem to be hesitating. So I should, there's probably another place to find the well, board outline. Well, actually, any time you go to the layer viewer, um, it will show you where your board outline is. And that layer window, layer viewer is under uh, inputs? It is actually accessible from files or inputs. So if I were in the files uh, item and I double click on copper layer 1, or copper 01, it's going to spawn the layer viewer and show me copper layer 1. And in this case, the board outline is actually shown also. Right. So that looks like a pretty sophisticated uh, piece of equipment here. Yeah, this is a, you know, a PCIe um, FPGA evaluation card. and um, it is a fairly, you know, mixed technology board with lots of different things on it. And it looks like it's a, you know, a decently kind of moderately complex board, not quite a square, right? It's got some, um, I guess these are kind of edge connectors down here yep. and some bends and turns and corners, right? So I'm looking at this. This looks fine to me. I don't see a problem here. Well, I'm looking at this and I actually see a problem right away. And uh, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you can see, um, if Dr. Hillman zooms in, you can see something that doesn't, you know, looks like the, the board outline turns in on itself there at that one particular location. Oh, I see that. So if I kind of zoom in a little bit more for my viewers, I can see I've got like this, uh, I guess this line, and like there's two places where the line kind of exists at the same time in some kind of funny way. Yeah, and that can con cause issues with meshing. So we actually already ran the mesh. If uh, you want to turn on the, the mesh. And you can see that, hey, we've got some, some issues there with the, the elements that were formed uh, during the meshing uh, routine. So yeah, I see my mesh here, and I guess this is black line, is deviating from the actual outline. I'm Correct. actually not meshing or modeling my actual board. Right, and you, you actually have a hanging FDA element right there at that, that curve, okay. sort of sticking off. Right. So we'll turn off the FDA mesh. Okay, so now I've, I've seen that. Um, do I have to kind of, is that the way, the best way to do to kind of see if I have a problem, just kind of zoom in and look closely to see if I see a meshing issue? 
Well, a lot of times what will happen is when you try to actually mesh, if the error is big enough, it will prevent Sherlock from meshing the board. All right. So, so how do I fix this? Well, the, the first thing to do is actually go to Edit Board Outline. So under the Edit menu, I see my second uh, option down here is Edit Board Outline. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Great. And I guess uh, the first thing I do is, uh, well, actually, the first thing I do is click Help. Okay. Give me some information here. So these are some basic uh, instructions on how to use the board outline editor. So I see here I can I can uh, left click to add points. I can right click to save it. It looks like, um, and I can do a bunch of things down here: left drag, vertex. So uh, what is a vertex? Well, we'll see a vertex in a second. Um, when you hit edit board outline, a vertex is really a point along the board edge. And the important thing to, to remember about vertices or vertexes in a board outline is that they will be enforced into the mesh. So if I have a lot of vertices very close to each, each other, you will have very fine FDA elements at that location. So they're all, they actually also act as mesh seeds. So there's a, there's a greater risk if I have a lot of vertices in one place that kind of have some kind of mistake with my mesh. Correct. Okay. So I guess the next step is now we've all read that, that helpful um, help window, I guess is to go to the edit outline. So the thing I like to do first is just, you know, we've got a lot of vertices along those curves. Um, if Dr. Hillman would hold down the control key and start clicking on some of those uh, vertices, he could remove some of them and just simplify the board outline at that location. I see. So it looks like a vertice is simply an in indication where the, the outline changes direction to some extent, right? Correct. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to hit control and get rid of that. Whoops. Keep going. All right. Yeah, I'll do every other one. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. And you probably want to uh, click on one of those ones where you see that where the error is. So if you just do a click. Yeah, do a. And I can move it. Yeah, and then you can actually uh, control and ju just get get rid of that one. So what he's doing is he's holding down the control key and he's doing a left sh uh, click on the mouse. Now you want to do it on the on the other other kind of rounded corner as well. Yeah, the, the idea is just leave enough verti vertices there to define the shape. Um, remember, FDA is going to break it up into straight segments anyway. Um, yeah, that could have been done a little bit better. There we go. Oh, there we are. That looks good, and then you can probably get rid of one there also. Make it nice, we'll make it there you around. go, and then he can just right click and click done. And now, oh, yeah, so I still see the curve. I got rid of the curve. The curve is still there. Yeah. But it's a much simpler kind of. There's much less likely chance of, of a problem with the, the meshing. Right. So now, when he hits, when Dr. Hillman hits save, um, he'll see. You'll see that the mesh. Uh, actually, if you just zoom out. Click save. Mm -hmm. And now we'll just quickly regenerate the, the mesh. And so I go with that, go to edit here. Yeah, so a quick way to use to you know see to check to make sure that the board outline is correct and to see if you can generate the finite element mesh is to uh, do a quick update FDA mesh from this screen. Quick update FDA mesh. Update. Now what are these kind of uh, max mesh size, min part size? What do these things do? Well, these are controlling some of the attributes of the mesh. So, and since we're doing a very quick, uh, you know, just a check, quick check, we're going to use a relatively large mesh size. We're going to exclude some parts that are below 60 millimeters, and we're going to exclude some holes. So this isn't my my final kind of FDA yeah. vibration analysis. This is just a check to make sure that the outline is all good and ready for next steps. Correct. Okay. So he's going to click update. So okay, so I see something has shown up here, this FDA mesh, I want to click on that? Yes, go ahead and click on FDA mesh and you can see now, and what we're looking for when we're looking at this is areas of very dark, uh, you know, very fine meshes or elements uh, where things have collapsed down and you've gotten very uh, small elements generated. And in this case, it looks uh, actually very good. So I'll click save again, zoom out, and then we should be, uh, we should be good to go, right? Yeah. All right. So as you can see here, that's a, a great example of, uh, of kind of making sure that our board outline is good and there are no mistakes. Uh, do we find that uh, board outline issues are a common problem with, uh, with designs when coming into Sherlock? Yes. 
In fact, if there's a, a, if you run into an issue with the finite element analysis, nine times out of ten, it is because there's a degenerative element formed because of a support outline being having a mistake in it. So just doing a few small things up front to make sure everything looks good is going to kind of smooth the way to kind of a successful Sherlock run. Correct. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I want to like I said, this is a, these are brief videos to give you a little insight on the key things to do to have a successful experience with Sherlock. So you can see that's how we easily define a board outline in, in Sherlock. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, uh, feel free to refer to the Sherlock user forum on the internet, uh, wide open to all of our customers. Or you can feel free to call us directly at 1-301-474-0607. Once again, this is Craig Kelman and uh, Nathan Bateau for DFR Solutions.